everybody, my name is Light of Hand, and today I'll be doing an unboxing video of the Gunfighters Dead Man's Hand multi plastic set for that's made by Great Escape Games. How are you all? I'm not doing too bad. I'm trying to get a few videos done tonight, so this is my first. Let's begin. I got this set, um, this box earlier on in the week. Um, it was I got bought it through North Star Military Figures. But you can get it through Great Escape Games. I'll show you the website at the back of this box, which they have. And also I have a link in the description down below as well. Anyway, guys, I have to say I love the front art they've got on this. Um, so anyway, this looks like this is like the sheriff. He's got a couple of people from the town. I think that's a shotgun that gentleman's got there. Pistol, uh, repeater rifles, some rifles out there as well. So this set has 10 models. That you can be build as well. Let's turn it over and have a quick look on the other side. I do really like, again, whoever they get to do to do the paint work, the paint jobs, looks really cool. I love this sort of scenery they've got in the background as well. Again, you can see a sort of sheriff there with a pistol. Another gentleman there, I believe, has got the a repeater rifle. And another one I think might have a shotgun on the end over there. So this does like, um, again, looks really nice. Um, let me come a little bit further down here, guys. So as you can see, there is, if you fancy trying to order this, there is a website here for Great Escape Games, co.uk, where you could probably order this set from. I'm going to try and have a link down in the descriptions down below as well. So there's not really much in the way of sort of fluff here. So, Dead Man's Hand is a 28mm skirmish game by Great Escape Games. Bands of rough and wily cowboys, stoic lawmen, ruthless outlaws and crazy desperados fight for fame and reputation of the Old West. So, sorry, hopefully you can see what I said there. Then you've also, it says this, this kit, plastic kit contains 10 models, uh, so there's a few things. I believe it has includes pistols, a repeater rifle, and two shotguns, and a rifle. Okay, so let's open up and see what we get on the inside. I'm hoping there's stands, because I know some things do not... Oh, what's this? Okay, so there is... Let me zoom out a minute here, guys. i got this with it. And if I turn over... Great Escape Games. Nice little bit of advertisement there they've, they've got inside. Let's uh, have a quick open up. Nice, nice that they've got this like bits with it. Okay. Oop. Yes, they do have stands, which is good. So you've got your 10 stands. Okay, are the sprues exactly the same? They seem to be. I've been caught out before though. So if there's only one rifle, there must be some difference somewhere. I could be completely wrong, but I, okay. Uh, right, so let's get the, let's turn, yeah, let's turn that that way for a second. And let's get the one little white piece of paper. And let's zoom. Actually, let me lift this up a little. Sorry, it just hit my camera. Let's lift this up a little. Let's zoom a bit in. And let's have a look. Okay, so... Yeah, you've got different sort of heads there. One with a bandana across his face. Another one with a kind of like... I like the one with the sort of hat there. You could make an undertaker with that one there. Or even like a charlatan sort of doctor sort of thing. Does look cool. Pinkertons, I suppose. Let's make way over here. So you've got some arms. That looks like a pistol. A pistol and a holster. Open handed. Someone about to draw. Someone with a long, uh, longer barrel pistol. Can anyone tell me about the game? I'm kind of interested. But because I've got so many other games... I need to be careful what I buy at this minute because it's all about space now for me. 
Okay, so there's another sort of like pistol in a holster, another pistol shooting, another... Again, there's quite a few pistols here, obviously, with sort of with the cowboys. Sheriff badges, a body. We'll turn this around in a second so we can see the other side. Again, I like the sort of bullets on the belt there. Again, it's like different pose with the other leg. So instead of the uh, right leg going forward, it, that's now the left leg. Uh, that looks like uh, someone carrying their saddle bag. Cool. As I said, I'm gonna, I'll turn over in a second. Actually, no, uh, I'm going to turn this around the other way for a second so we can have a look at this, this side now. Ooh. I've gone to the wrong bit, sorry. That's the back, that's the tunic. Again, a sort of long coat. Again, I'm going to turn these around in a sec so we can have a look at both sides. Someone kneeling. There's the knee. So if I turn this around quickly. So there's the, again, the sides with the kneeling. There's the other side with the leg. So we work our way along. There's the sort of long coat. Sort of the front of it. And the cowboy bit so we saw the front of that one so we come down this way work our way back I'm probably going to turn it around yep I'm going to just have to turn it around just quickly so we can get to see I need to come there yep so we can see the uh, body so there and the back there okay so we've already seen that side so let's turn this around quickly again we've got more pistols but now we've got some rifle parts or shotgun, not what I'm saying sure. Which it looked like that you attach that to this one here. Then you've got some other arms with some guns. You've got a cow skull. We'll turn that around in a second, have a look on the other side. What the hell's that? Uh, it might be an arm. That looks like a repeater rifle. That could be a rifle. Okay, I'm going to turn these around in a second. It looks like you've got some dynamite, a little bit of cacti, cactus, sorry, a little bit of rope, and that could be dynamite. So let's turn this around just quickly. Okay, so, yep, that's dynamite. Yep, definitely a um, cattle skull. I think that's a repeater rifle. I'm not too sure what that one is, could be a rifle. Uh, holsters, that's what they were. Didn't know what they were, I went the other way around, but this way I can see they're a holster. Let's come down. I swear that's, yeah, so you choose which type of barrel you attach to that one there. Okay. So, yeah. So, as I said, I don't own the game. I bought these, to be honest, guys, more for because I'm interested in doing Call of Cthulhu Dark Trail. And so, if I ever get my friends around my house again, we will maybe create some characters and stuff like that with it. So, yeah. Alright guys, let me know in the comments down below what you think. Uh, do you own this set? Do you actually own the game? Let me know in the comments down below what you think of it. I might have to check out YouTube as well to see if there are other channels that may have had a little game. I, I'm interested, but I'm, as I said, I've got too many games at this minute. And I have to start either getting rid of games now... Or stuff. I'm a little annoyed because I swear these guys must have been at Salute. And I only filmed their table quickly and had to move on because sometimes I'm like in a rush to get home as quick as possible to get the videos ready. But yeah, I have to say I like the set. I, I love the artwork on the front. I think it's really well done. Um, but yeah, anyway guys, if you like this video, please click like. If you like to subscribe, please do. Um, tell me in the comments down below if you've played this game. I know I've asked that a couple of times, but please, please let me know. Um, yeah. So, yeah, my other question is, how many, you know, like if you do need to play this, how many uh, cowboys, lawmen, or desperados do you need as a, in a sort of gang? I'm assuming it's a gang, or posse, or someone to actually play this game. Um... I'd like to learn a little bit more about it because I do like stuff about cowboys. You know, there's, I, 
don't feel like it's as well, apart from Shadows of Brimstone, which is what I do own. I don't really own a lot to do with Cowboys in that sense. Um, but yeah, just let me know if you like them. Remember, guys, if you like to, if you like my stuff, please subscribe, hit that notification, it all helps. And I hope you're having a good day. Um, mine's been so so, the animals have been acting up. Uh, I've put some pictures on my Twitter account, again, I have the link down below um, of them as it took me 40 minutes to get things started tonight. Okay, anyway, see you later, guys. Bye.